the aero india is showcasing the most lethal capable the united states fighter jet and also capable interoperable weapon system the us has to offer in fact the united states air force's newest fifth generation fighters the stealthy supersonic multi role f35a is what you're seeing right here and also you have the f16 after a journey especially from the hill air force base right in the united states in fact the team has arrived here at the aero india 2023 to impress the crowds uh you have especially the static display right over here and on to my right you also have the f18 now that is something which we understand has still been a contention as far as the indian navy goes because remember the aircraft uh, carriers that we're talking about the ins vikramaditya and its successor ins vikrant now uh, you know the indian government is still deciding especially which are the multi role fighter uh aircrafts that they will have to procure but for now we see that these are the two major contenders of course we did speak to major general julian chita he did of course point to the fact that this is what the us has to offer but of course it's left up to the us uh, in fact to the government indian government to decide and who should they really go with whether it's going to be rafal or it's going to be f18 or not at the aero india with kumar in bengaluru shri jaf for ndtv right we're talking about the lc tejas with that uh, keeping in mind do you see f16 stands a chance uh, i i would never count the f16 uh, out or the f20 f21 as it's also now so uh, certainly uh, i think would be very competitive finally what do you think about the contention that's happening at the indian navy right now what's your thought about it rafal uh, or what, what is across the table the final talks rafal yeah, so, or f16 Yeah ultimately I think it's a sovereign decision so it's uh it's India's decision on which one is uh you know is a better fit um I certainly think the F18 the uh, F21 At what stage of discussion is this would you be able to say that So uh, I'm actually not aware of exactly where. I think the request for proposals are still out there, and so it's right now it's in the India's government uh, decision matrix. But uh, so it's a little bit early. 